You are Locked On Syracuse, your daily podcast on the Syracuse Orange, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that Kyle McCord is going to have an absolute field day against this Stanford secondary. He is going to shred them. Kyle McCord shredded Ohio. He shredded Georgia Tech. And he's going to do the same thing for the third consecutive week. Because Stanford's weakness, at least so far this season, has been their pass defense. It is not very good. Again, I don't care what happened against Cal Poly. To me, I pretty much throw that away. I do not care about what happened. What happened against TCU? Well, they could not stop the pass. They made Josh Hoover look like Joe Montana. Josh Hoover went 28 of 42 for 353 yards and two touchdowns and did not have an interception in the game. TCU in that game had two wide receivers finish with over 100 yards, and they had another pass catcher finish with over 80 yards. Think about that for a second. Stanford's pass defense, no bueno. Not good. Bad. Terrible. All right, I'm going to throw out all the words there. But anyways, as a team, TCU had once again over 350 passing yards in the game on 8.4 yards per attempt. Now, you guys might be asking yourselves, what's the context behind 8.4 yards per attempt? Is that good? Is that bad? Well, let me tell you based on Kyle McCord's numbers to start this season. We all agree that Kyle McCord is off to a great start for th- through two weeks. Kyle McCord's passing yards per attempt this season, 8.6 so far. That's where he's at. Stanford gave up 8.4 yards per attempt against TCU. So they're pretty similar to each other. What does that tell you? Kyle McCord and this offense are going to have an absolute field day picking apart Stanford. That is their big weakness. It is their secondary. Now, I do have to give Stanford a little bit of props here because they do have one really good player in the secondary, and that's Colin Wright. In 2023, Colin Wright, a cornerback, was Pac-12 honorable mention for the Pac-12 Defensive Player of the Year. I know it's it's kind of a mouthful to say. He was the freshman Pac-12 honorable mention Defensive Player of the Year. So basically to summarize that for you, Colin Wright, number six, a cornerback, is pretty good. How about that? Does that make a little bit more sense than trying to pronounce that, or not pronounce, but try to say that whole mouthful? I think it does, but whatever. This is just another game where Kyle McCord should go for over 300, over 400, whatever it is. It would be the first 400-yard game in a Syracuse uniform for Kyle McCord, probably in his actual career because, yeah, it is in his career. Kyle McCord's never had a 400-yard passing day in college football to date. Never had because in week one, he set a career high against Ohio, and I believe he had like 350 in that game, and he had more against Georgia Tech, so he set another career high. Could this be three consecutive weeks that Kyle McCord sets a, sets a career high? I think it could be. I think it could. I would expect huge games from Aronde Gadsden and Trevor Pena once again because those two control the middle of the field. Stanford really doesn't have anyone in the secondary that could stop those two. So expect another another big performance from Aronde Gadsden and Trevor Pena. So Syracuse really should not have much trouble throwing the ball against Stanford. They really shouldn't. They shouldn't. Now, run defense, as I said, Stanford's is actually not bad through two weeks. So is LaQuinn Allen going to have 100 yards on the ground for the first time this season? I'm not going to say no, he can't. But I think the game plan for Syracuse this week is like, look, this secondary is not very good. you got a quarterback this year that can fire it all over down the field. You have so many weapons. Use them. This is the game where I say, make it an aerial assault. Do it. They can't really stop it, right? That's what Syracuse should do this week. Throw the ball a ton. Because I don't think Stanford can stop it. Period. Now, 
as far as overall thoughts on the game, and I know it's it's early. This isn't necessary. I mean, it's, it could be. This could be a game where we see more young players, but I'm kind of hesitant to say that. And when I say young players, I mean like backups and some true freshmen like Jamie Tremble or Emmanuel Ross and maybe Michael Johnson Jr. at quarterback instead of Kyle McCord. But that th- that would only be a scenario if Syracuse is just throttling Stanford this week. Hopefully they do. This is the type of game where it is possible that Syracuse can get out to such a big margin that you start to see a lot of young players and a lot of backups play for Syracuse. It it is possible it could be one of those games. King Joseph Edwards hasn't really done much so far, and he's a true freshman four-star recruit. Maybe this could be a game that he has a breakout because Syracuse goes up by 40 points in the fourth quarter. But at the same time, I I am hesitant on it. And it goes back to what I said at the very beginning of the podcast that, look, is this Stanford team good? They're not good. No, I'm blunt. All right. They're not very good. But they are within your own conference and you do have to handle your own business with a team in your own conference. They still have athletes. They are still under scholarship. They are still being paid. All right. But. Next week is really the week where we are going to see a lot of young players and a lot of backups. When Holy Cross comes to town, I'm so excited to watch more of Emmanuel Ross. He's a four-star wide receiver. Jamie Tremble, the four-star tight end. King Joseph Edwards, the four-star edge rusher. All of those guys because Syracuse is going to just absolutely mop Holy Cross. They, They will. So that's the game where... I 100% expect we're going to see young players and backups. For Stanford, definitely possible. But I'm just a little hesitant only because it's a team within our own conference. All right? So what we went over on the podcast today, we went over the background of Stanford, how they went from one of the premier programs in college football to not very good recently. Their strengths and weaknesses on the team overall. We talked about some of their key players. even. When they do have a weakness, they do have a really good player in Colin Wright in the secondary. We we talked about their NFL wide receiver that they have in Alec Io Manor. Their linebacker unit is actually pretty good. Is this a game that Syracuse should win by a lot? Yes. Once again, Stanford and Syracuse playing inside the Dome on Friday night at 7.30. 